Right to Try gives those who have run out of options a fighting chance at finding a cure. It empowers patients with terminal illness, giving them the opportunity to have these conversations with their physicians about alternative routes they can take that are not available to them through the traditional process. At a patient's most difficult time of their life, the last thing we as government should require them to do is wait. This bill could also possibly lead to pharmaceutical companies bypassing costs of trials and start marketing their rainbow colored pills to us. We don't know what these pills do or how they get administered, but we heard on a commercial on TV that they are miraculous. The right to try bill is bringing false hope. Comprehensive care in the ACA is for real. What we really need to focus on is making sure people get diagnosed early so their illness doesn't become terminal. Now, Mr. Speaker, I think this bill here will do some good for a limited number of people. I think it could do some good, and for that reason, I'm supporting it. However, it just nibbles around the edges. It doesn't get to the meat of what we should be focusing on right now. It doesn't get to the fact that thousands of people in our state are at risk of losing their health care. When somebody's diagnosed with a terminal illness, lady from the 44th, they are going to die. It is not for us to determine that somebody who is facing the ever after may not try anything within their grip to try to survive. Mr. Speaker, the lady from the 44th mentions false hope. For someone who is dying, there is no such thing as false hope. There is hope or no hope. And if there is a drug that has made it past the first portion of FDA approval and has the slightest inkling of hope, who are we to stand by and say they may not try it? 